All right guys, so with recent discoveries of two different stacks of the Hardware 4 and just test vehicles roaming around the streets right now, I'm able to piece things together and give us an idea of what the new upcoming vehicles would look like. Now, when I'm talking about the upcoming vehicles, I'm not talking about the Cybertruck or the Semi or any of the other future products. I'm talking about the Project Highland Model 3 and Project Juniper Model Ys. I think those two are the most important vehicles up to date because they are the mass marketed product from Tesla. Now despite all the changes to the new Model 3s and Ys, I'm really going to be focusing in this video here just purely on the headlights. Now if you guys want to know more about the overall changes to these vehicles, please check out my previous video. I did discuss all the changes that are going to be happening and everything that has been leaked so far regarding the exterior and the interiors. Go check out those videos. I'll drop them in the description below, at least a few of them. And if you guys want to see the rest of them, they are in the Tesla playlist. Now I'm not going to go too deep into Tesla Vision parking. We've all seen videos online and I really haven't had my chance on it yet. So I don't really have a true hands-on experience. But when I do get the software rolling out to the vehicle that I have access to, I will be creating a specific video for you guys, testing out every aspect of Tesla Vision parking, what it's capable of and what it isn't. So make sure you guys stay tuned to those videos by hitting the subscribe button and the bell notification if you guys haven't already done so. So now, as for obvious reasons, Tesla is heavily relying on camera based systems vision is going to be the star of the show and it means that they really need to double down on the quantity and the quality of those cameras the only difficulty we have with the current placements is that there are blind spots in the front and cross traffic there are certain maneuvers that currently require physical movements of the vehicle to be able to see the line of sight and that is an issue and can be fully resolved by just purely having additional cameras now if you guys don't know what i'm talking about because you don't live in North America and you've never tried FSD beta yet, it means that the vehicle is peeking into the lane of cross traffic to be able to see what's going on. And that means that the whole vehicle is going to need to go into reverse if it does end up into the path. That is a real big issue. And I know a lot of you guys have mentioned that the vehicle can essentially go into reverse automatically. However, there could be blockages or other vehicles from behind that does not allow it to do so. And essentially, this would cripple the entire system. Now, if you guys don't agree with that, let's just just agree to disagree. However, I do think that regardless of what the situation is, it is always more beneficial to have additional cameras. So that really ties me into the headlights now and what's going to be changing in these newer vehicles. So what better time to add in new cameras than to do it when they're redesigning the entire vehicle, including the headlight housings themselves. Now I previously mentioned in the last video how the current Model S's and X's with their hardware for cameras currently are not complete products. They will need those additional side firing cameras located somewhere at the front of the bumper. This is where the new Model 3s and Model Ys are going to get their first dibs on the true hardware 4 or hardware 4.5 where they're going to have these side cross traffic cameras somewhere in the front and most likely it's going to be inside of the headlight housings. Now it could possibly look something like this where inside of the housing there is those cameras that are housed in a specific way where snow and debris is not going to cover them up. Now with the recent prototype vehicles that you guys have been seeing strolling around town, originally they were not covered up, the front lights were not covered up. Now as time went on they decided to start covering the back trunk, the rear bumper the front bumper and the hood and eventually they decided to also duct tape the front headlights now with them covering the front headlights I think they are ready to do a full aggressive redesign it's gonna look a lot more sleeker a lot more sexier and with the little opening that they put out in this image here it looks like the overall LED strips are gonna be a lot lot smaller funny enough I also did talk about this in a previous video about how I really dislike the bulginess and the bug eye look of the model threes and Ys. a lot of you guys have disagreed about it but it's really all perspective. I personally don't like any bulgy looking eye headlights. The sleeker, the better. My personal favorite is the Audi S5. It looks amazing, really sleek, and it kept its style for a very long time. I would honestly would call that a timeless design. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Do you guys prefer this design over the Tesla Model 3 design? But fingers crossed, we're going to be getting a more aggressive front end here as well as the front housing design. They will be adding more active LEDs as daytime running lights as well as active projector lights and matrix LEDs to just mesh everything together into one really aggressive but functional headlight. Now vehicles right now also do have matrix 
LED and it does pretty nice things like draw the word Tesla on a wall. However, they're not active yet. We really don't know if this is just a limitation of the hardware or something that will eventually be activated on current production vehicles as well. Now for the camera placements on these headlights, I do think that the most obvious and clear placement of them is right at the tip of the headlights where it's pointing sideways. There are other vehicles out there right now that also do use the same layout of what I'm talking about. The most obvious one being the new Cadillac Celeste. They are really placed really well on the sides right there. And for obvious reasons, I don't think that snow is able to get trapped in there and dirt is able to get stuck anywhere near there. And I'm sure they probably have some kind of heating element as well as a wiper system in case it really does get dirty. But most of the time, I think just due to design and aerodynamics and how it's driven, it's not going to have any debris covering them up anyways. Now, Cadillac is not going to be relying on these for full self-driving or any kind of autopilot-esque kind of system. They are just purely going to be using it for 360 views at this point. But it's definitely something that Tesla can look at and implement into their vehicles. And it's definitely something that's very helpful for cross traffic alert. Full self driving beta is definitely going to benefit in so many ways with these new camera placements. So yeah, guys, this is how I would imagine the placements are going to be and how the headlights are going to look like eventually. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Does it make sense? Or is there some kind kind of different placements that you guys prefer. I know a lot of discussions have been going on about the new fender cameras also being part of the housing. There's just going to be an additional camera that is facing to the side or facing more to the front that is going to take care of the cross traffic. But I think that's an overall bad design just because it looks a lot worse. So this should wrap it up for this video, guys. If you guys want to hear more about these little things and about things off of YouTube, hit me up on Twitter at HeyJohnE. That's where I'll be replying and just commenting as things happen. But at the same time, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and a notification bell definitely i'll be trying out tesla vision parking very soon so you guys don't want to miss that out but yeah this should wrap it up for this one guys hope you guys enjoyed it this is john peace out